So glutathione, we talked about that. It's basically a uh, form from cysteine and it's got sulfur, a thiol group in it. This is an extremely powerful antioxidant that you make, you're making it right now, it's being used right now to detox your body. So there's a thiol reduced form and a disifold oxidized form. It's found mostly in the cytosol. Okay, remember that's a water part of the cell. There's some found in the mitochondria, which is of course the engine of the cell. Most of this is made in the liver. So if you have fatty liver disease or dysfunctional liver, you probably don't have enough glutathione and you should probably be on everything that increases your glutathione. Okay, the bottom picture shows you all of the damage that we are faced with every single day, never mind what we eat. Um, and so it's important to have a base, I think, a baseline of antioxidant levels just to sort of support our generally terrible diets. Even those of us like myself that read about this all the time and try to eat as healthy as we can, I'm not perfect. I make dietary mistakes all the time. I try to make up for it by taking antioxidants. It's always gonna be better to get it naturally from food, but I think supplements have a huge role to play in this world where we live in, surrounded by chemicals and pollution. Again, your natural, this is what you're making every day that's detoxing you as we speak. So converting hydrogen peroxide, that's a free radical, back to water, okay? It basically helps to regulate the cell cycle of life, okay? And the cell cycle of life is where you take food and convert it into carbon dioxide and water and make ATP. Okay, and this just goes on and on and on. You eat food, you breathe out carbon through carbon dioxide, you pee out the water, you use the energy, that's converted into either movement or heat, right? This is your cycle of life, it never ends. It's an antioxidant defense, because in the process of that ATP, in the process of converting food to movement and heat, uh, you produce side effects, exhaust out of your engine, which is the free radicals. So the glutathione neutralizes those free radicals and helps prevent cell damage. It'll maintain the proper membrane potential, which is what drives energy production. So you want more positive here, more negative there, than the positive flow through this particular turbine that makes energy. And it will modulate immune function, of course, and change the formation of fibrogenesis. So this is why it's good for autoimmune disorders, which are often connective tissue disorders.